chair of the Silicon County Democrat Committee. So, uh, so, uh, let's now call this meeting to order. And this is a very singular meeting. Um, it is really, we're just here to um, elect the state committee delegates uh, for the, the Democratic Party of Georgia for that, that committee. It's an important role because not only will the delegates be representing us at the state level, but then we they will also be bringing information back to us. So I will expect definitely reports back whenever you have a new name, you know, please, if, if you're elected a delegate and you have had interaction or a meeting and you have something to say, let me know so I can put on the next um, agenda for our meeting or whatever the next business meeting will be. Okay, we have, um, these are our candidates, and what I'm going to do is ask everyone to uh, come up and say, you'll have about a minute to speak on behalf of themselves, and in um, Pat Ruth's case, on behalf of um, Carolyn Hugo, who's up in Atlanta, and then we will vote. We will write down, in no specific order, the top, the five people that you would like to see on the um, delegate list. Please write legibly as the vote counter, okay? <laughs> oh, we know that from the, uh, from so much. Um, so, how the votes will be counted is this. The top vote getter will be seated. Then a person from the opposite sex, top vote getter, will then be seated next. And it will go back and forth like that until all five of our delegates are chosen. That is to ensure, um, obviously, gender uh, diversity. And uh, and that's it. That's what we're going to do. So let me first, um, Pat is here, but she needs to scoot out. So Pat Green, would you please come up and speak on behalf of Carol? I have a question. Yes. On the ballot that Jack will be signed, and I know last month, or earlier this month, mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember there were questions about that. In the uh, Democratic Party of Georgia bylaws, where specifically where it addresses election of this group, it says assigned ballot. Uh, I don't know why. I haven't had the time to say, hey, well, what's the specific reasoning behind this? But that is what it says. What would you do Democratic Party? You know, we vote for our president, and then we sign that ballot. True. And I guess there, you know, there could be sneaky things going on, but I'm not suspecting that at all. Right. But really, I, I yes, Judy. Maybe it's to compare the votes with the signatures on the sign machine. Very good. Yeah. Somebody really was well Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So that, that's the requirement, yes. Um, I can guarantee that no one cares. <laughs> I don't think that's not going to look that up or anything. So anyway, Pat, would you start us off? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I appreciate you letting me go first. Mm -hmm. You know, there to the Board of Education, but on behalf of Carol Hughley, she is a um, state legislator. You know, the legislative session is in, so she's not able to be here. Uh, Carol has served in the legislature for some 20, uh, this is maybe the seventh year, and she served in the Democratic Party membership about 17 years of those um, as um, the minority whip. Um, she has, I don't know how long she served as a state delegate, but um, her work is, is never done. She's always working on behalf of all Georgians, and of course, for the state and Democratic Party. And I, and I think that it is just fitting to allow her to continue to serve in that capacity. She is more than just has more than just has her uh, pulse on what's going on in the Democratic field. She's one of the premier leaders uh, for the, the state of Georgia's um, Democratic Party, and uh, she always serves us well. And we just ask you for your vote so she can continue that service. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to go in order now. I'm on, on 
my chest, my chest fell on the floor, which means I covered. Thank you. Good evening, Democrat. I hope all of you have watched TV or listened to me you what's going on at Port Congress today. It's kind of sad, but the same thing is supposed to happen. This is not what I will tell you a little bit about me. I am right now one of the state delegates. I am the president of the voice of the party at the DPG. What's going on there? Go there and report back to the DPG what's going on at the different meetings. Then talk about uh, the way to vote at the DPG. Each time I vote there, you require to sign the ballot. Why? I don't know. That's you know, that would be, I kind of follow the I am a guy doctor from the Portland area. I've been a lifelong Democrat. Uh, since I moved in 1994, I've been working to elect Democrats. I'm asking you for your vote to represent, continue to represent you as a DPG, as a state delegate. And uh, I'll serve you to the best of my ability. And I'll make sure I come back to report to you whatever happens. And I'll be open if something, you know, something goes there, or you can ask me anytime, anywhere, call me, I will give you one. And I will give up to the Madam Chair to let us know, to let me know if you want to report to her or to the school. That's all we have. Okay. Anybody have any questions for me? Yes, Thank you. Please, I ask your question. All right, so next I'd like to introduce someone who to many of us doesn't really need an introduction, but to some of you very well might. And this is something important to know, Ms. Juanita Booker. Committed. And if you are committed, I am committed. 
So if we all do that, delegate both of them. Yeah. Oh, all right, next, um, Patricia Lasseter, could you please um, tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, I'm Patricia Lasseter, and um, I'm so grateful to see such a good group of people that look like us and a full house to vote for this. Um, I've been a state committee member for almost four years. I was appointed this time for the first time trying to run it to um, get on. I've never missed a state committee meeting. I have been honored to work for this party. Um, support the state committee, and also um, I was the deputy field director for the Columbia candidates for like Stacey. I was having a great contract we had last year. Work everywhere from Atlanta all the way down to Florida. And one of my I had three things I wanted to do with the state committee, and of course it was collecting the facts. The second one was geographic diversity, because there's always been a schedule between Atlanta and the rest of the, the state. I think that I've done that, and I want to make sure that that schedule you know, is always um, as smooth as possible. And then it's party strengthening. Every all of our committees here, um, just not just in um, the 29 counties of the second congressional district, we have to make sure that our county committees are as strong as possible because we need to come out and try and running for 2020 to make sure that we um, show up in the census and we can get everything taken care of. So it's not just this Muskogee County that we represent the state committee, it is Harris County, which is the third congressional district. It's not just um, the second congressional district, but in every single county that um, in the second congressional district, we have to do every county from Atlanta on down, because it may, we have to make sure that every single um, county committee looks like us. You know, this full, this brand just wants to go out there and kick some butt, because that's what we have to do every single day. It has been a pleasure and my honor to do this every day. Um, uh, you know, every weekend I'm running off to another committee, and I love it, because there's so many, every person has a story. Every single person has a story, and we have to hear all those stories and, get, and make sure that all those people are able to vote. Because guess what? Stories are one thing, but guess what? If you cannot get to the um, polling place to get to vote, that's one thing. If you get to the polling place and they don't catch your vote, that's another thing. So that is something that I, I, have to, I fall asleep thinking about. You know, I pass by a house and I tell them that's what we all have to do to make sure that we. The, um, the 2020 is different from 2016, mm -hmm. yeah. and that every single person feels that it's easy to vote. Not that you know, we have to fight for a vote. We're fighting for our votes now so that people that come next are able to make it easy. You know, it should be easy to vote. So thank you so much for considering me. I'm going to do it for the next four years. I'm going to do it My name is Walter. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I used to walk past what this woman known as Ding Dong every day on my way home. I was a 24 year vet of the Army, retired. I've made my home here in Columbus since 1995. I work under the auspices of the JAG office. I was a 27 dollar chief paralegal. So I have a good legal background, a good government background. I'm a member of the Federal Union. I'm the political coordinator for that game. I have seen the strike made by this party. I'm a lifelong Democrat, Democrat <clears throat> by no means. I have hit the ground running on every midterm <clears throat> election. I've taken two months to leave without pay to knock on doors all the way from Columbus all the way down to Benefesta. So I'm no stranger to hard work. Are you any president sometimes? Thanks. He doesn't see me working, but I am working. I want to be your advocate. I want to bring information back to you. I want to take information up. I want to do what is best for this part. It is time for the members of the community, because I am a member of the community, not just with me or delegate, but a member of the community that wants to see us in 2020 make a difference. So I appreciate your vote. Thank you. If 
folks. Uh, thank you for letting me speak to you for a few minutes. Uh, I uh, do not have the impressive resumes that these other folks have. I'm new to the Democratic Party. I didn't even know this was an option until the summer election. If you do vote for me, I promise you I will work tirelessly for the needs of this community and to ensure that the state of Georgia turns blue in 2020. I'm not advocating that you vote for me. I think you should vote for these much more capable individuals. But if you do, I'll, I'll be happy. To vote. <laughs>
count the votes, like I said, top vote getter, then the opposite gender top vote getter, back and forth. We're going to do the vote counting. Ms. Deborah Davis and Jose Scott is going to be our going to be our vote counters. And then we will come back in and, and share the results. So after uh, I'll come around. Or actually, do you want to go in there? No, I will do my do me a favor, because we, we want to keep the secret, but we need to know. <clears throat> if you just take it out, you sign like this, for your signature, this way. The next way, you see, this goes. The next way, when we collect them, we can verify the signature, but the goal is still be. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Fold it like a hot dog. And then you can fold it like a hamburger. A dog hamburger in school. No, I don't hurt the hamburger. I said, I Chris, stop. No, you have to do that because you say fold it in half. You have to be specific. You can too. So fold it out like this. Okay, one more time. Just take this box and fold it over. Just fold it over. So we can verify it. Okay. Like 40. Oh, sorry. I'm just. Um, I mean, for posterity, I'm just putting I'm <laughs> 
Carolyn Hughley. The next um, second highest for men is Walter Hill. And then um, lastly um, is Ms. Wendy Booker. <laughs> Expect good things and information and advocacy. Um, and thank you to everyone who ran because mm -hmm. it's not easy to step up and put yourself out there and 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 you know and not knowing what's going to happen. Thank you for doing that. I promise you that we will have so many more opportunities for everyone to get as involved as they'd like to be. We. Um, we are meeting, and just kind of segues into the last thing I want to say, and then, then we're going to head out. Um, we, as the executive committee, are working on two things this week before next week's March 5th meeting here, next Tuesday at 6 o'clock. We're working on a, a calendar for the rest of the year so that everybody can put dates down for um, you know, our meetings. To, and we actually have someone, Toya Tucker um, and, and uh, Reggie Thompson, are looking at the possibility of us using their gym um, for our meetings, which would be a huge relief and you know just a, a place to go where we have seating and we have privacy and we don't have to pay, you know. Um, so so we're going to be setting the calendar and then we're also right now tweaking the current subcommittees because what I saw um, during the last year and what some of us are noticing is that there's some um, redundancy or some duplication of effort in these committees. It's not always really clear who exactly is in charge of what. So we just want to look at a little bit of time to look at that in more in depth and make sure that we have a nice solid um, variety of things, you know, that, that what we want to do is addressed in the subcommittees and that we have plenty of things for people to, you know, ways for them to contribute. We're going to be doing things like fundraising and like financial planning for our organization. We're going to be doing outreach and membership. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, voter, or excuse me, candidate recruitment and candidate mentoring, trying to be there for, for the reason we're here is to elect Democrats. So I always borrow that from Patricia, but it's, it's the bottom line. So um, lots of different things, uh, publicity, um, community relations, newsletter, social stuff, you know, so there will be many areas for you to contribute. I already know what Gary's going to be doing, um, and he, and, you know, there's, well, there's a lot of you who is like, okay, this would be perfect for this and that. So, so with that being said, next Tuesday here, um, six o'clock, the same room, and we will have our first host committee meeting. Um, that date went out probably about a week and a half ago or so. Um, when we first, when I first had the, you know, I reserved this room. I also reserved because they had here in the library, which is rare, they had um, a, a room in March or in the April. So um, remember, if you're a post committee member, um, to let me know by email or text or call if you can't make it. Um, but anyway, that will be our first uh, post committee meeting, and that's what we'll be addressing. So thanks for being here tonight. Um, this is, you know, if you've ever been in a protest somewhere or a demonstration, and they say, this is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Thanks. Yeah, true. Oh, we should do it. Let's do it. Would you gather? Um, <laughs>